Oh, God! Oh, oh, do a flip! Welcome to the HSCL Roadshow, a three-month road trip where we'll be traveling the country in an RV to teach 25 high schools how to build PCs. And when we leave each school, we leave behind six gaming computers so that they can start their own esports team. Huge thanks to the Army National Guard, ASUS, Intel, and Extreme Networks for sponsoring this series. On this trip, we have Nehemiah, who is our campaign manager, Nick, our videographer, and me, Connor, the commissioner of the high school esports league. Three gamers, a giant camper, and a bunch of computers. So we're at the beach. I think we need to jump in the water. We can do this. We can do this. It's a little cold, not even worried about it. It's like 60 degrees out. The water's like 30. It's cold, isn't it? Put your toes in, it's gonna be all right. I can't feel my toes, they're numb. <laughs> We're making progress. Oh, God! Oh, oh, do a flip! God, I can't feel anything. Ready? Oh, dude. Glendale High School to build them six gaming computers. You guys kind of know the drill by now. This is a really exciting build. This is the first time we're doing it outside. Luckily, we found a shaded area to do it. Today, we have the Intel crew out here as well as the local media, which is really cool because the whole idea behind this is to show off esports and show how it's really needed in high schools. And so to have local media here covering it as well as a brand like Intel is really cool. It shows that we're doing something right. Um, so we're about an hour out, so students should be showing up shortly. We're just finishing up getting everything set up and then we're gonna go right into it. Uh, my name is Michael Water. I'm a math teacher here at Glendale High School and I am the current advisor for the eSports club. Hey, I'm Carmelo. I'm from Glendale High School. I'm in my third year at here at Glendale High School and I am the eSports um, president in the school. Uh, so what made me uh, decide to become the advisor is uh, one of the students came and asked me if I would be willing to take on the role. Um, the student was extremely passionate. They, they had a very uh, you know, they had a strong drive to make this club into something. And, you know, when, when a student has those characteristics, it's, it's very hard to say no. You just want to support them and help them reach their goals. Esports excites me. It's because of, like, the community here. You get to make um, new friends, play together. And obviously in these um, situations, um, you're able to, like, um, talk with, like, new people and make new friends. Uh, so students, uh, one of the aspects of the club that we do pride ourselves in is not only the gaming, but exposing students to the world of esports. So career paths, colleges that hold uh, teams, they're all being discussed in our uh, monthly meetings with the team. So previously, um, gaming is new to this district, um, so obviously n not a lot of like administrators and like um, teachers are caught on to the idea of esports. So starting up a club here at the school is pretty challenging and we need to work our ways around it. Obviously one um, in, like hard or like detrimental thing is that we can't play certain types of games because of shooting and um, competitions are like hard to like organize so as a way to like go around this like we use we teach um, our members about the, the games how to play professionally um, how to like form a sense of communities and all that stuff. You know, the biggest hurdle, the biggest concern is always the games that involve, you know, uh, a weapon because, you know, the shorthand for those games is shooter games. 
and that's not necessarily a title that you want to bring onto uh, the, the realm of a school community. It, it's, it can be very jarring if you refer to it as a shooter game. So, um, you know, there are, there are conversations. Students want to make these games uh, a possibility and their, their voices are being heard. Um, but, you know, there are you know, a lot of factors to consider right now. And so currently they, are, uh, they have a, a Rocket League team and they're doing very well with Rocket League. I believe at one point they were ranked 60th out of over 300 teams across the country. Uh, which is a huge accomplishment because last year we tried to get the club and we couldn't get any competitions going and so this year not only did we get a competition going but we we were ranked and so uh, the actual uh, roadshow competition was it was I mean it was a surprise uh, you know the students found it the students researched it they're like Mr. Water we want to enter this competition and so they they uh, hustled and they gathered all the information and they worked on the essays and they all worked together and then we submitted it. And the next thing I knew, we were getting uh, calls for more interviews and then uh, the actual on online uh, Teams, or not team, uh, Google Meet interview where they revealed it was just such a moment of elation. Like the kids just erupted in, you know, in cheers. And So as of right now, we're probably gonna use these computers as a way to practice once you get back into campus. So games such as like Rocket League and Minecraft and other um, non-shooter games will be allowed. But hopefully um, when this game misconception is like gone, um, we can branch out to other games such as Overwatch, Fortnite, and Call of Duty, hopefully. Do it. Do it. Holy cow. Hey, you built a computer. Yay. <laughs> I pressed the middle button. wasn't right. moving, so I was like, hey. Oh.